So we find here in the text of Isaiah, men coming out into the watchmen, and they are asking the watchmen about the night. And the question is very simple. He says, he calls to me out of sail. Watchmen, what of the night? Watchmen, what of the night? This question right there is, tell us what is happening with the night. How long is the night going to last when are we going to have a daybreak because let us face it friends the time that we're living in it is the time when people are immersed in the night it may come as a night in a time for somebody maybe it could be in your marriage and your marriage could be experiencing a night time it could be in your finances maybe at work and your work is experiencing a night time virus is spreading out there's so many pain and a hunger that, that that you know we are experiencing and we want an end of this and i want to tell you the time is moving and it is moving very fast and before you know it that blessed morning is on the door it is coming brothers and sisters and i want to tell you to hold on a little longer don't just sit there and relax don't just wait there and see things happening i want you to raise up your head for your salvation is nigh the blessed morning is just on the corner and we need to hold on a little longer don't you lose your faith over the night that is happening in your life don't you lose your faith over the night that is happening in your family don't you lose your faith over the night that is happening it all around you it could be at work don't you lose your faith when you lose your job because night is affecting each and every corner of your life don't you lose your faith when your wife is about to divorce you and you are struggling in your marriage don't you you lose your faith when your husband is telling you he's not supporting you and the kids anymore don't you lose your faith why because all these things they tell us that we are living in the night but my brothers and sisters remember the scripture has just told us that the morning is coming yes the night is there but the morning is coming and I want to tell you if you keep on holding further you are going to make it to that morning I don't know about you but I'm excited to be part and parcel of that great and blessed morning. Imagine when our loved ones that are dead are going to rise up again. Imagine when those that have been suffering from hunger and pain are going to get out of all that pain and they're going to experience a lifetime with God. I don't know about you, but I'm excited for that blessed comfort that says to me that the morning is coming. And like Isaiah, I'm going to say these words again in Isaiah 21 verse 11 and 12 especially verse 12 which says the watchman said the morning comes and also the night may god bless you and have that comfort in you in jesus name amen and amen